Hey, what's up, you guys? My name is Emma. Today I'll be reacting to K on Season 2, Episode 20. I know this is very random, as it's kind of just coming out of nowhere. Uh, I briefly mentioned I was watching k -On, I think, in a community post. But that was literally it. Um, there's been no other previous recordings of this. Nothing of the sort. Just me here. <laughs> Um, and it's mainly because I'm scared to watch this. I've heard many things about this episode. Um, all good, but like good in the sense that makes me a little concerned for my emotions. You know what I mean? But with that being said, I kind of just want to start um, this episode um, right now. Because the sooner, the better. But anyways, we are going to move in. Sorry, it's on this side. I'm stalling, I know. Let's go. In three, two, one, now. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> she probably is for playing Romeo. <laughs> she just woke up like that. Um... That, that, that's just rude. That's just awful. <laughs> there we go. Got the audio better. God. K-On! music goes hard, okay? Whether it be uh, on Mio's, Mio, Mio's side of things uh, with the EDs, or just Yui in the openings. And other songs, too. Not just for, in reference to openings and endings. But now the Romeo and Juliet play. They did it. They pulled it off. But it was definitely a struggle. <laughs> I'm currently, you know, very clearly smiles from that, but I really should move the light, but we're living with it. In reality, the camera should be moved, but this part just gets me emotional. Okay, we're going in. <laughs> yeah, it was... Yeah, she... <laughs> so you won't be nervous. Too many? But come on! <laughs> See, it wasn't just Ritsu. They're all here to support you in their, you know, unique way. You haven't known Ritsu this long in uh, the rest of your uh, club for like three years to not know they would do that. Yeah, you got this. Oh. Woo. You may as well go with it, yeah. <laughs> Oh, they're fucking shirts. <laughs> I need to, like, applaud Salako another round for that, too. But okay. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Our third school festival. Mm-hmm. Don't, no, Mio, don't think about it. It's, no, 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 no. It's not a thing. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. It's a... <laughs> Guys, yeah. The highlight. Look at how much, like, they've gone up in, like, the school rankings. 
because they really are pretty popular, you know? Don't trip. <laughs> yeah. God, it wouldn't be them if, if there wasn't some trip ups. They have fans! Look look at this! They have supporters! Holy shit, Sawako! Oh my god, did they make this special? I'm 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 scared. Oh yeah, you did. Mm hmm. She worked tirelessly for them. I need to make it through this episode, okay? I'm gonna survive. <laughs> of course, no applause. She deserves it, though. Oh, you're emotional. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. Oh god. Who cares about the name? This is we're rocking with it. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Oh, I've heard this one. Oh my god. <laughs> I love these guys so much. <laughs> Look at uh Azinyan's face, just very focused. <laughs> it's about having fun. Wait, is it because of their conversations, too? I'm sorry, I'm pieced together the song. <laughs> Have fun with it, yeah. Amazing. I'm next to my bike, but... <laughs> the blush. Do something. Do you remember them? Oh. <laughs> you got this, Mio. You got this. I could never. She does. There we go. Oh, people got that. They're getting it. <laughs> Yeah, we have to call attention to you. Yep. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, we know you didn't forget them. <laughs> oh, she has to come up too. That's, that's so different from normal. Oh, she's going into performance mode. <laughs> Gotta just walk back to your spire. Oh yeah, Ritsu appreciation. That's <laughs> Trigi. <laughs> you gotta get moving. <laughs> <laughs> this is just on brand, okay? I'm having fun with it. This is literally reminiscent of her first time doing this. <laughs> that is just who they are, and we love them for it. On brand. Yeah, come on. You guys got this. We believe, we believe. I'm sorry, Fu and Photon is just great. <laughs> hey, special touch. <laughs> it's habit. There's nothing wrong with that. And yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always important to call them out. <laughs> <laughs> the fan club is gonna live on, okay? I can imagine it now. <laughs> Gotta bring it up. Oh, I'm really making work for Nautica. Nice call outs. <laughs> you showed yourself. <laughs> Just go, go, go. Hmm. <laughs> hey, what's wrong with being passionate here? <laughs> oh. Oh, invites. Everyone's welcome. He's our turtle. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually really nice. Oh. The baby of the club. Let's go. Mm-hmm.
<laughs> yeah, you got this. <laughs> Introduce yourself. <laughs> oh, he's just so proud, and I, I, I get it. Oh, my God. That's just sweet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> of course. Okay, I can see this is gonna really smack me in the face. Let's go. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> of course. <laughs> it's forever after school. Just <laughs> Hey, hey, there was some claps. I heard it. Oh my god, they're playing it. Mm -hmm. Huh. Oh, the song's too good, it hurts. <laughs> this is my first time hearing it. <laughs> Look at them just having fun. Just the satisfied smiles. I'm just, I don't know why, but they're killer. Ah, uh, I wish that was longer. No, oh. that it was. It it did. We had fun. <laughs> Everything a blur? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
<laughs> Elizabeth. The base. Oh, yeah, Mutin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just need you two to name your, uh, you know, instruments and we'll be all good. Of course you want Kig. Hmm. Oh. I see where this is going. Oh, I see where this is going. <laughs> A camping trip. Oh, stop crying. Don't do it yet. No, 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 no. Don't do that. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, my God. Oh. Hey, you know what's... <laughs> yeah, this is, this is sweat. No, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. You're not hiding it. <laughs> it's, it's raining, guys, don't you see? Oh. <laughs> How dare you with the background music? Um. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> that you guys did. <laughs> A little too well, okay? They're going through it. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> they tuckered themselves out. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> okay, that hurt. They're loud. I'm sorry, but... I can hear it from here, so uh, I'm good. I say that I'm gonna do this. Okay. I'm resolutely holding strong. Um, barely. Fuck. Just okay. Yeah, yeah, no. We're we're gonna talk about just why that was all just wonderful. Okay. After this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I needed that moment. Um, so. I think that that was just so well played. Like, during the whole build up for this um you know season 2 it's their seniors and we literally start off with you know coming to the reality that um we have uh to graduate and then once we're gone uh Azusa will be on her own you know 
it'll just be her if we don't find new members. I'm I'm very scared. I'm trying. I'm not paying senior photos. Oh no. Um. I, I don't I don't know if I'll. I I almost want to keep going. You know, start from a weird place like this, but just just because I I wanted to watch the movie. Um, just gonna ruin that would have been surprise. Is I I'm, I've genuinely never seen the movie, and I I really want to, and that's what this is leading up to. So there's that, but <clears throat> just their antics on stage, you know, uh, coming off of <laughs> their big performance on stage with Romeo and Juliet, especially having most of that pressure being on <laughs> Mio and Ritsu at that point. Mio is always getting put through it. She She's the one who definitely gets put out of her comfort zone the most, but <clears throat> she really shines in those moments, you know, like when they're getting her ready, like trying to get her out of her like stage fright and uh, they're working the part time under pressure. She pulls through. It's not always the best though, you know, outcomes happen, but she, she does work great like that. And especially when she's with everyone and uh, I'm going to get fucking emotional just talking about it. Camera uh, definitely uh, got rid of some of that emotional gun punch i low-key genuinely thought i was gonna fall um but i will later i feel it but you know um going back to referencing their first uh festival which you know went off really well up until mio's unfortunate accident but you know it forever blessed her with this fan club which you know they have their moments of creepiness but they're also just genuine fans and, um, you know, then when she doesn't want to hear about it, cause you know, it's genuinely too much to remember that we have poor Yui who's just like, I'm so sorry. I, I got a, a cold and I, I forgot Nita at home and just going through that too, feeling so guilty of how much trouble she put them through. Um, her just doing her, her speech to just talking and introducing just you know, all that. It, she she was the best pick and it's just great and all of them had similar moments too in this case you know with the the mic as we had some people who haven't spoken really much uh really takes shine because we had ritsu you know who had a moment of like existential crisis about being tired of the drums just because you know she was literally almost never caught on camera you know she was always in the back in the darkness but at the end of the day, she wants the drums, and so she stuck with it. And, you know, we actually had her walk up, because Yui had to go on and about the Romeo and Juliet, and she actually walked up to be in the front uh, to have that conversation. <laughs> and, you know, I, I don't know, I'm getting uh, emotional over the tiniest of things, uh, if we couldn't tell. Because um, I can. <laughs> but... Um, also, it, it's just a big thing, too, because while they clearly in the moment, like, they they had to have in the back of their mind been thinking, you know, it's their last one, but it always feels so surreal. And for them, having Sawako, Sawachan, okay, my brain's mush now, um, pull that surprise and, like, Nodoka helping, too, but just that surprise of everyone having their band t-shirt basically the very first one and just all of the applause and support that was just being showered on them just completely caught them off guard and it was so sweet i didn't see that coming like maybe the extra applause because you know we we've been seeing them you know get along with their teammates uh, teammates <laughs> classmates more and more and just having that full uh, room of people genuinely there just cheering them on um, genuinely feeling upset when they could only perform one more song and can I just say that song is wonderful um, the circumstances of which the lyrics were made made me cry and so I, I could say that hearing it performed like that was was a lot actually I've just rambled for so much, but I, I, I need to keep going because we haven't talked about it because the aftermath, 
they're all settling down from their genuine joy the adrenaline of all of what just went down how they accomplished them not knowing if they even played anything right because they're just living in the moment but talking about their excitement how they're you know next is you know the christmas festival you know then there's going to be the freshman festival like the freshman uh, stuff to like try pulling people into just them going over that like really signaled where it was about to go and it was one it was masterfully done to the point where it hurt me because i just saw it coming it's just that now really bringing it to the forefront that we're graduating after this. We don't, this was our last one. It's not, there's not another one after this. And, and just, you know how they, um, was, was it Mookie? I'm sorry. I'm forgetting. And I'm scared to go back to the scene, but like, you know, just the breaking down of saying thank you to Azusa too. Cause without her, you know, she's a part of their group without her that they wouldn't have happened. And so that, that thought too, of not just, this is the last one. It's genuinely like for right now we're, we're separated. Cause you know, we're, we're going to be graduated and then you're going to be here. This is, this was our, this was our last big performance together. And just the, them slowly crying and then, you know, passing it off. Like, Oh, I'm sweating. I'm not crying. What do you mean? And just, <laughs> Ritsu trying to nudge Mio, getting her to laugh a little bit, but getting called, <laughs> then Mio just calling her out, like, you're crying too, though. <laughs> what do you mean? Just Azusa really trying to rein, like, rein in the emotion that was just running through them at the moment of just, this is it. Um, and, yeah. I, I can only imagine that feeling, truthfully. Um, and I don't know. There probably is a graduation episode. Is there? Someone let me know. Or don't. I don't know. You guys can catch me off yard if you want. Because if I see a graduation scene, I low-key... I low-key might not do okay. Those scenes have always gotten to me. And ever since I graduated myself, it only got worse. <laughs> so... So that, yeah. Um, Anyways, uh, I maintained no tears. I'm lying. I teared up. Congrats. But I I know I'm about to cry. (laughs) I hope it wasn't too obvious for my voice. But no. um, Yui keeping the energy up. All of them clearly going through it, but just their smiles. At the end of the day, I wish I had a pic, a, a nice group picture of all of them where we see their nice, satisfied smile. Because at the end of the day, that's all that matters. Is that they themselves enjoyed the time they had there and, you know, had fun. And, uh, yeah. I'm very, very upset now. I'm a... <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! I I, I gotta end this like like now. <laughs> yeah, um, it was wonderful, and I I see why people cry during this episode because I'm about to, <laughs> and I'm gonna end it up with that note in in mind. They make a wonderful group. Um, their dynamics will forever be some of the most fun things to to see and I'm going to continue enjoying them for as long as I have them here and even past that and uh, I just think Kyo Annie did a great job with K-On and you know for as chaotic comedy as it it gets it, it is really heartfelt and yeah that's where I'm going to end it um Thank y'all for tuning in. I'm sorry for, you know, jumping in so far into the series, but I, I did know all of vol- uh, volume season one. So it was kind of a weird start and I didn't think about it until almost the end of season two. But I will see you guys probably in the next one. And uh, I hopefully won't be as uh, a mess 
and whatnot. Let me know your thoughts about this episode and anything in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys on the flip side. Bye-bye.